All right, we're rolling. All right, guys, whenever you're ready. Good afternoon. My name is Wyatt Lindquist. I'm the creator of Practice. Over the recent years, we have seen an exponential increase in the amount of players who are playing the sport Ultimate Frisbee. What was once considered just a group of you know, friends out standing around, throwing a Frisbee around, is starting to become revolutionized and starting to become a sport. People are looking for the competitive edge in this sport and are trying to gain that edge that will get them onto professional teams and win them tournaments and other things. So I was one of the players who has joined in on this ultimate frisbee craze during these past 10 years of extreme growth. And I, for one, when I began, I wanted to become one of the best ultimate frisbee players out there. But there was one problem. I soon began to cap out on my throwing potential, and I couldn't seem to gain any more wrist strength to be able to throw the extra yards that I needed to finally get the full um, field pass. And so now, um, I started thinking, how can I start to increase my wrist strength? I tried lifting weights, but this hurt the range of motion of my throws, and was really detrimental to my frisbee playing. And this is how I came up with practice. Okay, so practice is a weighted disc that uh, you put, or that has an interchangeable rim on the outside that you can, that has many different sized weights uh, ranging from just an increase of 100 grams to up to two pounds. As you can see here, this is just a normal Frisbee, but uh, you can see the rim right there. It'll just be interchangeable. You can change that around. Our disc is similar to how a weighted, or a pitcher would use a weighted ball to train their throwing arm. It's, it's to keep that same range of motion without hurting their arm. Hi, I'm Kyle Schuff, and I'm going to fill you guys in on some of the marketing that we have. So, our first, um, our first one is, the first way that we're going to market our product is for USA Ultimate Club members, ranging from 24 years old to 40 years old. And we're going to also sell these to high schools, especially around the area, such as Conan and other schools. Um, frisbee teams, we're going to sell our frisbee from the D3 to the D1 level, um, including schools such as Illinois, so from the bottom to the top pretty much, and especially women who are um, a growing, exponentially growing demographic of the sport of frisbee. So, so our total addressable market is 5.25 million people as of right now, for the, including all of those demographics. And every year, 7% of those 5.2 million people keep increasing. So next year, we're going to have over 6 million, and it just keeps growing. And 30% of those people, we had 50 interviews, and 15 people out of our 50 interviews said that they would further click on our website and determine like that, which frisbee they wanted help and go through like the tutorials because they want to get the competitive edge. So pretty much, we're trying to make sure that that competitive edge can be um, gained over other players in Frisbee based off of our training weights. So our first free marketing tactic is to contact local college radio stations and have them publicize our product ultimately over their station so we can have the, um, the reputation from college students that are in the sport. And our second one is sending emails to local high schools and some colleges too and have them inquire about our product through our website and send us reviews on what they think, and we would also be willing to sit, send um, trial products over to them for their, for their teams to use along with themselves. And our third one is the use of a subreddit so we can, um, so we can uh, resonate with Frisbee players all around the, uh, in the community so they can, uh, they can understand our product and pretty much use that product in the future and decide if they would like to purchase it or not based off of our website. And then moving into our paid marketing tactics, we plan on um, next June in Cincinnati, I mean July, sorry, setting up a kiosk at the World Ultimate Club Championships and having a hands-on experience with our product so we can demo some Frisbees, have some throwing competitions, and pretty much ask people again, would they buy this product? And if so, like, what can, if they have any like, reviews for us, if we can change anything so we can get more information on how to make it better. And our final one is to go to actual like professional level teams and just give them trials of our frisbees a certain amount that wouldn't affect like how much we actually have to spend on it but get some information back from actual professional athletes around the community and I'm going to hand it over to Logan now and he's going to let us know some of the financials. 
Alright, I'm Logan and I'll be talking about the financials. The cost of our product is set at $40 and we base this off of interviews. 70% of our interviews said that they would pay $40 for our product. The cost of goods for our product is $8.25. This includes um, materials, production, and labor to create it. And this leaves us with a 79.4% gross profit margin. Uh, our total addressable market is 5,225,000 people, and our serviceable addressable market is 25,000 people, which is local. And with our product being $40, this makes our serviceable market potential roughly $950,000. The estimated number of units sold in year one is to be around 2,000 units, and this makes our first year revenue estimate roughly around $80,000. And subtracting our cost of goods from our product leaves us with 60. $3,500 is our gross profit. Finally, our first year marketing cost is estimated to be around $3,400. And at the end, for all of Frisbee's sold, we have an 8.43% market share. I'll end our series with the MVP. All right. Hello, my name is Sears, and I'm going to talk about the MVP. Now, for the entirety of this school year, my team and I have worked tirelessly to really develop the practice. However, there are two problems that we need to solve with your financial assistance. One of which is the market. As Kyle had stated, we have a pretty large, pretty substantial market, actually. However, that only indicates the potential buyers, how about people that are actually interested in our product. And to solve that, we are going to create a website landing page. It will have some basic aspects, some standard components, such as a description, a demonstration video, and an About Us page. But two components that are extremely crucial and unique uh, consist of one that states if you are interested in, a, in, a, in the practice with the weather resistance, please click order here, order now. The other one states if you are interested in the practice with strength improvement, please click order now. And either one will redirect you to this page, which in essence states, we're sorry, the practice is unavailable right now. But if you put in your email in the blank below, you will be able to receive updates, email updates, on when it does become available. So with this website, we will get some really important numbers on our website and the market, some very good key metrics, one of which would be the unique visitors. We are going to market this website through social media and the Ultimate Frisbee subreddit. And in addition, another crucial key metric would be how many people are interested in this product. And we can indicate that, we can find that out through the amount of people that clicked order now. And the last, most important measure will be how many people actually put their email on our website. That will indicate that they're interested and they also want to learn more about the product. And that is our first MVP. The second one will be, we'll tackle the issue of our product not working. We have spoken to an orthopedic surgeon, physicist, and also generic Frisbee players, also enthusiasts, and we've asked them, do you think our product would actually work? And they, spe they specify, yeah, I believe it has the potential. But the key word is potential. Potential is not a strong nor finite word. So what we're going to do is get some statistics. We are going to purchase 15 Ultimate Frisbees from the Ultimate website, so they're certified for the sport. We're going to engineer them into practice by putting lead tape around the inner rim. And we're going to send that to 15 different Ultimate players. Before they even receive them, we're going to request that they throw a traditional Frisbee and measure out the distance in which they threw it, send that information to us, and then once they receive the practice, they can practice for a month. And then afterwards, we're going to request that they throw the traditional frisbee again <laughs> for a month. All right, we're going to ask them if they can throw the traditional frisbee again, and then send that information to us. We'll get two discernible numbers, which will indicate whether they improved in the sport or not. And if they did, we can adjust the product accordingly. So those are our two MVPs. And in total, we are requesting a loan of $500, which will cover the cost of all 15 frisbees, the lead tape, miscellaneous expenses such as spray paint and glue, and also website upkeep for about three months, and also traveling expenses. And if you provide us with the necessary funds that we are requesting, we will have all 15 practice uh, sent to the 15 frisbee players, and also have our website up by March 1st. And we guarantee that all the money you provide us with will be used efficiently and as we claim. Thank you. All right, so you guys are probably wondering, where's the competition? All right, obviously, Ultimate is not a new thing. All right, so Ultimate Frisbee weighted training is currently not on the market. There is one indirect competitor, and that is a Whammo weighted disc, but they are not marketed for strength training. They are actually marketed to help you throw better in the wind. So we are the first disc to come out 
that is offering the value of increased wrist strength and increased throwing distance. And so that's why we need to get on this market really quick and go as fast as possible in order to make sure that we are the first and hopefully become the brand name in weighted ultimate frisbee training. So in conclusion, we have we are asking for the $500 to do our MVP, and we are hoping that with all of our marketing and other things, we should be able to jump in this ultimate frisbee market. And so with me and the rest of my associates, we hope that you're ready to start practicing with practice. Thank you. So we are this company. Um, we we are hoping that someday we are going to be able to sell other ultimate frisbee training equipment, not just for say increasing wrist strength, but for um, other ultimate frisbee needs. And so that's why we are this company, and our product name is Practice. Which brand name are you going to market or promote? Or we are mostly going to be promoting Practice. Okay, yes, that's that a makes sense. Yeah, good call. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, I'm actually familiar with Ultimate Frisbee. I've played it, believe it or not. Um, and it's, it is cool, and I think that you guys have tapped into something. Weighted, uh, weight training, because it is becoming very serious. Uh, a very competitive sport, and a weighted disc, it doesn't, I, it doesn't exist that I've seen. And I think it, that you're on the subreddit makes a lot of sense. Well, but I would suggest maybe you flip your MVPs in a way that there's no reason why you can't put your your test your demand on the subreddit and do a sponsored ad. I don't know what, how much that would cost, but you could just do an ad on subreddit or maybe even a post and do a poll. I don't know if they allow polling. That's why you might have to sponsor right. an ad. But um, you know that would that is your exact audience, and you're reaching a lot of them. You could get a very quick answer just by doing that a month of of ads and ask specifically, you know, what you would be asking in an email. And then I would do the actual results testing by direct by yourselves. Pick 10 people locally here and you monitor it so you know you're getting actual results, accurate results. And you're not just depending on people emailing you in, I did it, I didn't. So you can, when you put out a number that says you get a 20% improvement in your risk strength, um, you know you can stand behind it because you did the actual test yourself. So I would, f I think you could yeah. flip those two things and um, get a better, accurate answer of the metrics. Thank you. Yeah, as you said with the um, with the part about how the frisbee, you, there's nothing on the market as of right now. We believe that with the five hundred dollars, we can pretty much test it and effectively like start our goal to pretty our goal is to monopolize the market for this as there's nothing there. What's the breakdown for the five hundred guys? Can you give us yeah. this? Uh, you want to answer? Okay. So for about four hundred and thirteen dollars, it's gonna that's gonna be the cost just for the frisbees alone. Yeah, so it's gonna be the frisbees or for the practice alone. So it's gonna consist of frisbees and then the lead tape. And then we also added miscellaneous expenses, which is about twenty dollars yeah. for the um, spray paint and also traveling expenses that we might have and marketing. And the final amount, which is about like $59, we added a little bit more just in case. Yeah. It's for the website upkeep, which is going to last for three months. And it's cheaper because Wyatt's actually going to manage the website. He's going to be the one who creates it. And that'll, cost, that'll bring costs so, down. You good? I'm going to build off of what Cara said. So I'm in complete agreement that the efficacy, yeah. you know, the proving of it, if it works, mm -hmm. that should be done by you guys. Mm -hmm. You don't need a professional to do so it. But you we, we are, this. So two of the people are me and Joey. We are ultimate players ourselves. Other people that are going to get them are the Kona ultimate team who we practice with and talk to regularly and we have friends in it. And also our own Frisbee team that participates okay. at this. As long school. as you can be there and see it. and yeah. So it we, we know everyone who is receiving okay. this. Awesome. Now, with the other part of the MVP, I, I would... I would do a little bit more of a head fake, I guess, with, with the way you set it up. I would, I would actually have the product. I'd have the, a button that would say, you know, quantity do you want? I would have the different weights you can buy. 
I would just absolutely pretend that this product exists. Yeah. Okay? Down to the point where you have different price points, different weights, and when you click on it, like order now, like I'm ordering. I just ordered three of them for $40, and my, my pricing comes out, it says $120, and it shows taxes and everything. It goes, yeah. you know, confirm, place order. Boom, out of stock is what pops up. Not, not we're spinning like crazy or whatever, or send your email. I like the line. You've already, <laughs> you've already got validation whether you have an order, because they've gotten that far along yeah. in this. And you've already got their email. And, and everything, the person is actually thinking they're ordering it, but they just get disappointed at the end with we're out of stock. Now, you are out of stock. There's nothing, you're not lying. <laughs> uh, you're not, you can't say we're sold out, because that implies that you actually had some, but you're out of stock, you still have it. You know, you never made up. Uh, but, but that is a, a much more way to validate what you're, several things. What weights sell? Because uh, you're going to have different varieties, right? Some are going to be heavier, some are going to be yeah. lighter. Uh, how many people, what the average size of the order is, and whether or not somebody truly was going to buy them versus somebody saying, I'm going to give you my, oh, you're out of stock, I'll give you my email. No, because once somebody says we're spinning out, they're going to, they're probably not going to get in their email. And you're never really going to know who they have bought from us or not. So, I would just change that around a little bit. It's, 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 a, it's almost the exact same thing that you're suggesting. It just goes a little bit deeper into the transaction. Just one caveat. I totally agree. One caveat. Just be cautious when you do this with the subreddit crowd. They don't take head fakes or you know anything very well. You don't want to alienate that group. So just you know maybe do it on the landing page or whatever. But just be careful. You're you know because that's a different kind of audience. Yeah. It's a you know, if you're, anyone here follow Reddit, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, talk to somebody who is a Redditor. One of the most popular uh, campaigns that ran with this, are you guys familiar with the t-shirt and underwear company, uh, Tommy John? Probably not your target market, but Tommy John would advertise the most comfortable men's t-shirt and underwear that you could ever buy. Him and his wife launched the company, advertised like crazy. And you go to order and it's out of stock all the time. And, and now it's a brand that is really, really popular. Uh, and they even, they even came out with a second campaign saying, gosh, we were, we were overwhelmed with the response that we had. And we're really apologizing that we were out of stock, but we're back. And we're now, that was their recovery ad. I, I have a question. Do you think pre-orders is, is not as effective as the head fake order? Uh, yeah, you know, no, they, it's not as effective, yeah, for sure. It's still okay. I mean, if, and you don't really, and by the way, is there anything that you can do to just start thinking about how you're going to make this? Yeah, we have problem. Oh, yeah, it's manufacturers yeah. ourselves. Is, is there a standard weight and dimension and shape of, a, of an ultimate disc so in certain levels? This is a regulation ultimate disc. It's a 175 grams that's used in at all regulation play must be 175 grams. So, so when you're selling a certain weight added onto it, people that know Frisbee know it's you know 50% heavier than a regular Frisbee. Yeah. Say we don't have that. I, I think one of the challenges you're going to have is when you in, put the lead tape around there, yeah. if you don't have it perfectly even, that disc isn't going to it's wobble. It's going to wobble all over the place, right? So you're going to. So it's just now. It's just who cares if it wobbles? What you're after is releasing 100 grams more out of your wrist than you normally would, and the building of strength. Okay. So I don't know if there's a way that you can just kind of come up with a sleeve, like an elastic sleeve, that once you put the weight in there, you just elegantly cover it with some type of. Lead sleeve. Lead. It's not even lead. It's like a material that goes over the lead tape. Yeah. To hold it in place. To hold it in place. Oh, yeah. And it's got to have a little bit of uh, uh, a rubber band. Or like a silicone rubber so feel to it, so you don't lose the rubber grip. But I, I would think you could make a sleeve that's covers it, that covers the lead tape in a pretty cheap and inexpensive way. And I just. You can ask a bunch of former incubator teams that have, have tackled the following. 
we have to make something, we have to design it with a CAD, and we have to find a manufacturer to make it, you'll be juniors in college before that launches. Okay? It just takes so long. It's, un it's unbelievable. Uh, and it costs a lot of money. So try to come up with a product that is, who cares, it's a little bit of a, it looks a little homemade. Uh, but maybe that's part of the charm of the product. And you, you uh, come up with a way you can make this yourself without going to manufacturing. Thank you. Did you look at like a, <clears throat> it's like with weight training, you know, you have different weights yeah. and the water and the light and so on, like an interchangeable, on that idea of the strap around the interchangeable weights, like one weight taken out, put another one in, like a ring, I guess you put in the inside of, not that I'm a product design guy, but it just kind of felt like, you know, the interchangeability would make it that much more personal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we did think about that, and that would actually help a lot with our, it would take down prices of manufacturing. Yeah, then it's instead any of, frisbee. You know, <clears> instead <throat> of it producing a whole frisbee, it would just be a little yeah. ring that would push against the uh, inside of the rim. So yeah, that was a possibility, and that's something we're looking for to do in the future. By the way, your math, and the way you size the market, and the way you frame the problem, it's all really good. I mean, it was easy to follow, yeah. it wasn't too... Confusing. I like the margins that you have on this on the on the business. Michael, do you have a decision on the? Uh, what were they? Five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. It seems expensive to me. It's the first piece. That's four hundred. But can you do it with less? Uh, you can do like we said. Hey. I'd give, I'd give them the five hundred. They four hundred and twenty-five of it's just to buy those frisbee. They have to test them. And they love so many Seriously, bucks. you don't have your own frisbees? You're like they professional guys. Yeah. So frisbees are very expensive. No problem. Uh, listen, <laughs> tomorrow. Thank you. 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 Thank you.